Hello everyone and welcome to the first week of Bible Box. I'm Miss Alexis. This week we're going to be talking about the story of the creation of the world. This can be read in the book of Genesis. For today's story, we'll be reading out of the Growing in God's Love Story Bible. If you'd like to get your own copy of the Bible to follow along at home, just click this link here. Let's get started. How God Made Everything Long ago, before telescopes and microscopes, before scientists discovered everything they know today, people told stories about the beginning of the world. This is the story about the beginning of the world that the people of God told. They thought everything God made was beautiful. At first, it was really hard to see. There was water everywhere. So God made light. The light you see every morning when you wake up. When God saw the light, God said, it's beautiful. Then God moved the water around. Some of it God spread all over the world. Some of it God put up in the clouds and in the sky for rain. God said, water's beautiful too. After that, God put the world's water in the oceans and lakes and rivers. Then the dry ground you walk on appeared. In the ground, God planted grass and trees and everything that grows outside your window and outside everyone's windows. God made the little geranium in the little pot on your windowsill too. God said, aren't all these plants beautiful? To make sure we all have light, day and night, God made the big sun that you see every day. Then God made the moon and the stars you see when you lie on your back on the ground at night. God said, don't you think they're beautiful too? Finally, God made all the little animals everywhere, the fish and the crabs and the whales in the water and the birds flying up in the clouds in the sky. God made all the animals around us on the ground. Then God made us, people. God said, wow, you're all beautiful. Then God spoke to us for the first time. God told us who we are and what we should do. God said, you are all my people in the world I made. I made you just enough like me that you too can see how beautiful everything is. Take care of the world. Keep it beautiful. Keep it just as beautiful as I made it. In today's craft, we'll be exploring further the creation of the world. Let's head on over to the craft table. Before we get started crafting, please remember to put some sort of protection down on the table you're working on and to make sure you're either wearing clothes that you don't mind if they get messy or put on something protective like an apron or a smock. Now we're ready to craft. Let's get crafting. Go ahead and pull out your folder for October 25th. Inside, you'll find the following supplies. A coffee filter, a decorative frame, a spray bottle, washable craft glue, two markers, and a save for later card. Make note on the save for later card that you set aside this supply for this date. Whenever you see a card like this in your folder, make sure you do that. We'll use this supply again that day. You're also going to need to pull out a plate or another object that we can set the coffee filter on. You'll see why in a little bit. First of all, take your spray bottle 
and fill it up about halfway with water. Just like that. I'm gonna open the cap so it's ready to go. Next, we're gonna take our markers. On our coffee filter, we're gonna use these markers and color in the world. It doesn't have to be exact. The world can be created however you want to create it. That looks good to me. Let's create another landmass over here. I think I'll put a lake in this one. Don't worry if you get a little bit of marker on your plate. It'll wash right off. I think I'll do some islands over here. Ah, I like the way that my world turned out. How's your world looking? Let's do some water next.
think I'll leave a little bit of white at the bottom. That looks like a great world. Once you've finished coloring in your world, next we're going to take our spray bottle. You're going to spray your world just a little bit until the colors start to run together. We can really see this effect happening down here at the part that I said I was going to keep white. Once you're done spraying your world, let it sit and dry for a little bit. While we're waiting for our craft to finish drying, let's head on over to our friends at Saddleback Kids and do some moving and grooving with a creation song. We're gonna sing the creation song. We're gonna start by counting from one to seven and moving our arms like this. You ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. On day number one, God made light. He made the day and he made the night. On day number two, God made the sky. It's big and blue and way up high. Ooh. You hear you say, whoa. Whoa. Day number three. On day number three, God made the sea. He made the land, every plant and tree. On day number four, God made the stars. He put the sun in the sky, super duper far. Whoa. Sing out those woes. Whoa. Sing God made you. Dolphins and whales and things that go squish On day number six, God made animals and bugs Foxes and cubs, all for us to hug Whoa. You hear those wolves? Whoa. Sing day number six On day number six, God also made man He said it was good and part of his plan On day number seven, God stopped to rest He saw what he made, it was his best Whoa. Sing out those woes God made you. God made you and God made me. He made everyone and everything we see. He made the earth and he made the heavens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Once your world is dry, go ahead and take it off the plate. I like to use an extra paper towel just in case there's a little bit of bleed through. Now we're going to take our frames. I'm going to put little tiny drops of glue on the outside of my frame. You'll notice that your glue has a little tiny hole right here. That makes it very easy to apply. And remember, a little bit goes a long way.
Once you have your frame where you'd like it, press down along the outside edge. That'll make sure the glue sticks. Now take your other frame. Since I want it to go like this, I'm going to make sure to put the glue on this side. Again, remember, a little bit goes a long way. You only have to squeeze really gently. If you get too much glue in one place, you can just use your finger. Lightly dab and move the glue to a new location. To make sure my frame is extra secure, I'm gonna put a little bit of extra glue right up on the top edge and right on the bottom. I'll move it up so you can see. If you get a little bit of glue on the outside like this, don't worry about it. The glue will dry completely clear. Again, I'm securing it here and here, where the little tabs are. Move my plate out of the way. There we go. We're gonna let this sit and dry, but once it's completely dry, you'll actually be able to hang this in your window. The light will shine through the world. All of the steps of creation are noted. God said, let there be light. Then God separated the waters and made the oceans and the sky. Next, God pulled apart the water to let the land be shown and planted all of the plants and trees. God created the sky with the stars, the moon, and the sun, and all of the planets. Then God made the fish and the birds. Lastly, God made everything that walks on the earth, including humans. And at the end, God said it was all good and he rested on the seventh day. Thank you so much, friends, for joining us for Bible Box today. Before we go, let's say a quick prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for creating the world we live in, our universe, all the plants and animals, and of course, for making us. Please help us take care of your world the way that you would want us to do. Amen. We'll see you next week for another installment of Bible Box. Bye!